Well, hello there and welcome back. As promised, this is a follow-up lesson for the solo for Smashing Pumpkins Cherub Rock. Loads of you liked that one, so thank you very much to everyone who watched, and thanks to everyone who requested this. You're all up here now, so um, uh, true to my word, I um, sorted it out and we're going to run through it, so let's do it, shall we? Now, before we get going, I'm just going to run through it so that you can hear it in full. I'm going to play the um, backing and then try and sync up the uh, audio as best I can. So um, hopefully this works. That's about as good as I could play it, to be honest. So um, uh, it's quite a tricky one because the phrasing is not sort of bang on um, most of the first beats. So it's all feel and attitude and some cool little bits in there. Now, in terms of the tone, that isn't the right tone. Um, but I've gone big muff again. And I did the same settings for the um, rhythm part, actually. So um, those are the settings, same as before. But also, this is how that sounds on its own. <laughs> doesn't sound quite like um, what's going on there but I think what they did was they did some phasering effects manually with some tape reels apparently that's what Wikipedia said anyway and I tried it with phase <laughs> that doesn't sound quite right really even if you put it sounds too phasering so what I went for was the uni vibe with just the depth like banged right back so you get so that's the tone I went for I'm not sure how close it is to the original but it's kind of there I think it's kind of there or thereabouts so the first part is some bends that's a bend on the 15th fret before the next beat starts, you're going to pre-bend the 19th fret on the B string. Okay, so full bend. And then... Alright, so that bit slowly. Two, three, four... this little run that's pretty straightforward pull off here though another bend then which is the 21st fret bent up half a step I think. And then you go down to the 11th fret on the uh, D string. If you can slide up to it, then all, all the better. There's lots of slidey stuff in here. So good, man. It's like Jimmy Hendrix. Then there's this bit, which is kind of tricky. I'm not sure this is bang on, but it sounded okay to me. Um, it's kind of drenched in effect at this point. So it's very quick, all right? Now, if you can't play all that, just play. And then you can try and work that in later. And really, you don't really need to pick much more, but, um, you know, I do sometimes just to keep the notes sustaining. So 12, 15, 12, then slide down to nine. But this bit... It's like three grace notes almost. And then you're going to go 
go seven, nine, seven. And slide down foot to five. Then a bend and release. And then bend up again. Without picking, okay? So that's just one pick on that um, bend. And then quickly. And then 11th fret on the G string. Um, and then you're going to play. That's the end of the solo, okay? So. Um, down to the seventh fret on the D or play the twelfth fret on the A. Now I'm going to run through the solo again slowly and then I'll show you what they play behind it if you're interested. So two, three, four. some fills as well that come in after that. I'll run through those quickly. There's not many of them. You're basically playing 15th fret bend on the B string. Second time you play four. Gotta be a bit Brian May about it. Then uh, I think next it plays another then the 14th fret. That rings out for a bit, then you've got another. And after that, it varies with. I might play that twice. So that's basically it, right? Um, I don't think I need to go into those in too much detail because you should be able to get them from the tab. Now, behind the solo um, is just a variation, really. You're going to play a D to an A and then uh, the E. So you're going to play. Time you're going to play this. All right, and that's with those fills. So um, let me play the last two times so you can hear it in context. people we are done that is the solo and all the other little noodly bits that i missed out of the first lesson so thanks again everyone for watching hope you enjoyed that one and see you soon cheers bye bye